on to this now. Over 3.5 million people have been infected with COVID-19 globally. Currently, there's no treatment or vaccine, but little hope has been restored as scientists develop an antibody set to defeat COVID-19 in a laboratory. Now, the U.S. has given the new antibody test the green light. For more on this, uh, we're joined by independent journalist from New York, Pavni Mittal, who joins us via Skype. Pavni, thanks for your time. Talk to us more about uh, these lab tests that are happening and what hope could possibly come uh, about as a result of them. So, um, as you rightly said, the antibody tests have been given approval. Lots of labs, at least in New York, are administering those. Uh, uh, for some uh, hospitals, the priority is testing essential workers and frontline workers to know who's actually been infected. I think that's a large scale uh, activity hmm. to really know how many people have actually been infected and whether they have immunity and whether that their plasma can be used to treat uh, patients who are right now battling for their lives in hospitals. So interestingly, the data that you have coming out of New York is that they're expecting at least um, in the range of, and these are just preliminary results, that in the range of one to, I mean, five to four people out of ten, uh, uh, out of ten people in New York or could have been infected. Sorry, I mean one out of five people, I, I, I uh, correct that, uh, could have been infected in New York and have antibodies. Now, on the face of it, this sounds like really great news, but let's be very clear. Right now, the CDC has not given us any um, qualitative measure in the sense we don't know how many antibodies you need to have to really give an immunity status to a person. We don't know if this could be another strain of a coronavirus. So mm. those details that are really important are still uh, to come in. Those guidelines are still to come in. But these are tests that the government is undertaking right now, uh, especially when you start to uh, you know, reopen regions across the country. Yeah. Uh, Pavni, I, I want us to simplify this discussion as, uh, as simply as is possible. Talk to me, is this about testing the blood of those who have been infected with COVID-19 and have since recovered, and therefore that blood is going to be used uh, to see if uh, they could uh, develop some antibodies that would kick out the virus if, it, if there is a chance of reinfection? So it's a mix. Uh, the sampling that they have is actually random sampling. A few forms went out a few weeks ago. You could sign up, and they would ask you whether you've actually been tested. So they are taking tests from people who have tested positive, but also from people who have not tested positive, who probably thought they had COVID-19 and could not get tested, and people who may not be sure they had anything. So it's basically just cover a whole gamut, and they're using this sample to sort of throw out figures as to what could be representative of the entire state and the entire city of New York City. So what they are doing is they're looking at the blood sample and looking at antibodies. And I spoke to a doctor who said that they can give you a quantitative measure and say, okay, you have X number of antibodies, but still before the CDC guidelines come in, they're not sure they can actually tell you what this means in terms of immunity, whether you can still, whether you're immune, whether you can, you know, maybe have, uh, uh, you know, have the virus, but still transmit it, even if it doesn't affect you. So those things are yet to come in. But what the government right now is doing, testing blood samples to find out who has some semblance of antibodies and sort of giving a projection of how many people in the state could have it so that they could uh, simplify the reopening process. And has President Trump had anything to say about these? Well, he's uh, been saying that he's been doing a really good job and that he should be applauded for it. But, you know, by now, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the message from the federal government has been very clear that all these things have to be undertaken by the state. Um, he said that he, you know, I mean, uh, the governor did speak to him and said we need help with more testing, with antibody testing, with vaccine um, research. And he has sort of skirted around that issue. I don't think the president is really interested in getting into that. His real focus right now is restarting the economy. Let's not forget we have an election coming up uh, in the next few months, and the president is really nervous about his approval ratings. So that has really been his focus, but experts around him have really uh, been pushing for as aggressive uh, 
testing mechanism, whether it's disease testing, whether it's antibody testing, whether it's getting PPE, uh, and then finally figuring out a plan to reopen the economy. Independent journalist Pavni Mittal, thank you very much for talking to us. She was uh, talking to us there from New York.